Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little bit of a different video. I have never done a video like this before. But what I am doing today is I am reacting to my 2019 favorites. I'm going back through the list, seeing what I chose last year. I will also link my 2020 favorites. I've already filmed them down below for you guys. But this video is actually in collaboration with my friend Annette, Annette's Makeup Corner. If you aren't following her, you definitely should. She does so many videos. She's uploading every single day, all of December right now, but she already uploads like four to six videos a week, I believe. So if you are into it, she's the sweetest thing ever. She's one of my true YouTube friends and I'm so thankful to have her. I will leave all of her information down below if you wanna check her out. Yeah, I think you'll really enjoy her videos. Luna says go follow Annette as well. <laughs> she's the best. All right guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos normally Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but all of December I am doing Monday through Friday. All right, I think that's it, let's do this. Okay, so I just took a peek at the list because why not? I went and found it to make sure. I will, of course, include pictures and links down below for you guys if you want to find them. I will also leave the 2019 favorites link down below if you want more in-depth information. Really, we're just going to go through all of these products. I'm going to tell you which ones I still use, still like. Did they make it to the 2020 favorites? Um, if I found something better, if I still think you should try it out, all of those. If it's still made, if it's discontinued, you know, all, all. The details. Um, I have been using pretty much all affordable makeup for a while. I think it's almost all drugstore affordable makeup. I think there's a couple things in there that are a little more high end, but stuff that you guys already know that I love. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Oh my gosh, I still love all of these things. <laughs> so last year for skincare, I chose the, I'll just do the, I only have the one skincare item on here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys about it. It's the City Beauty Multi Action Sculpting Cream. I still love this. The way that this feels when you put it on your face is just remarkable. I have never tried a product that's so instantly, besides like a smoothing primer, but there's something about this just has hydrating and smoothing. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. It's just a, just a basic moisturizer, but something about this one is absolutely special. I do love it. I haven't had to repurchase it yet. Um, I just use a little bit, but I'm always trying out so many different skincare products that it's hard for me to go through a whole one. I know I need to. I am going to do a skincare favorites very soon for you guys, so I will. That'll you'll probably see that in there as well. Uh, but it's still a really great one. An alternative if you want a more affordable one. I do really love this Super Hydrate from e.l.f. My actual favorite right now is the the peptide one from Drunk Elephant, but that one's more expensive. But if you want, um, a lot of the e.l.f. skincare is actually really, really good if you want something more affordable. But anyway, let's just jump into the makeup now. That was the one skincare thing, so I thought I would include it. So last year for primer, I chose both Revolution primers. They were Revolution Pore Blur Primer and the Revolution Pro Featherweight Primer. I just haven't repurchased them. I love them. I have been using the Shop Miss A AOA Pore Blur, like no pore primer. That one is amazing too. Honestly, it's such a good deal. It just depends on what you're looking for. Both are great. The Shop Miss A one's only $1.88. I definitely say check that one out. That one made it to my top favorite primer this year. Of course, that one came out this year, so I didn't have it last year. I still really love those Revolution primers, and honestly, I probably will repurchase them at some point, uh, but I haven't had to because I've been loving that Shop Miss A no pore primer. It is so good. I honestly, I've been using even more of it. Now, I used to do like half a pea size amount and just put it in my trouble areas, but now I put like a pea size amount on the back of my hand and kind of make it go as far as it will on my cheeks, on my chin, on my forehead, just to kind of blur everything with such a nice price point. I don't feel bad using a lot of it. I feel like my skin looks good. I don't know. I feel like it helps. I feel like it makes a difference. I feel like my makeup lasts all day, but that could also be, I'm still using the same foundation, which we'll jump into now that I loved in 2019. Basically since Revolution Conceal and Define dropped, it's been my favorite foundation ever. I have found other ones that I do enjoy. I actually had the exact same two. I didn't even realize. I had the same top two favorite foundations last year as I do this year. It is still Revolution Conceal and Define, which is number one. I'm wearing it now. It just blurs. Uh, my neck is a little bit more tan than my face, especially under these lights. Don't mind it. Blurs the skin. It stays on all day. It is just my favorite. I have not found anything that beats it. High-end drugstore anything. But if you're looking for something even more affordable and you like more of a satin finish, you don't need as much of the blurring. Um, I just love the blur effect that it has. I'll never get over it. It's just it works so good. I have combo skin too, by the way, for anyone wondering. My nose is oily. The rest of my face is dry. So that might change things for you. I don't know. If you have dry skin, you might prefer the, actually this one, this one, the Conceal and Glow. 
I love this one too. It just doesn't last quite as long on my skin, especially around my nose. Uh, but if you have drier skin, definitely try this one. I love this one. I don't think I've done a full video on it yet, but I did try it out in a video and I really, really liked it. So the other one was the Shop Miss A AOA Drop Liquid Foundation, the Satin Buildable Coverage one. That one is still amazing again. You can't go wrong for $1.88, just try it out. I do mix the two lightest shades normally. If I have a bit of a tan, I can do the second lightest shade. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's Fair Ivory and Porcelain. So Fair Ivory is the slightly darker one. The two concealers that I chose last year were Tarte Shape Tape. Absolutely still love that. I have two new ones somewhere. I don't know where they went. I lost the first one and I got the second one because they were having that Tarte like half off shape tape deal that they have every once in a while at Ulta and I got another one and now I don't know where either of them are but I did replace that one. This year I've been really using the XX Revolution. XX Revolution only has one concealer and I always forget the name of it because it's not on the packaging uh, but again I'll link it down below for you. I absolutely love that one. It's the closest thing I have found to shape tape. I love full coverage. The other one I loved last year was the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, which is still a really great one. Um, it's one with the black and white packaging. I'll put a picture in for you guys. Love that one too. It's just a little bit more drying than the Revolution one. It has majorly full coverage. I do only have it in the very lightest shade, and I have been self-tanning a little bit more. Lately, I just like a little more color on my skin these days if I can get it. Uh, just kind of experimenting with them because they're fun. Uh, so I haven't used that one as much, but it is still a really great concealer concealer a great option at the drugstore and as always the revolution conceal define concealer is a great one too it just doesn't have quite as much coverage as the other ones seem to so last year for powders i did physicians formula mineral cracking powder and translucent and the balm sexy mama shine control powder i haven't really been using the balm one anymore but i also haven't really needed to because we're in the middle of the pandemic we're always wearing masks so i do put makeup on my nose but i don't really worry about it staying because i'm just going to go to the store and run home if i go anywhere or pop into the post office so i don't majorly set my face anymore because i haven't really needed to but if you're someone that wants to really set your face that is a really oh hi so <laughs> i'm just gonna hold her like this so I believe the Physicians Formula may have discontinued that translucent powder, but I absolutely loved it. Honestly, there is nothing like their powders for my under eye. I have not found anything that looks that good. I did choose the e.l.f. Halo Glow? Glow? Halo Glow? Whatever it is. Ugh, my brain is just done so, guys. Uh, I did choose that powder this year, and I absolutely love that one, but it doesn't... It looks good on my cheeks, but I don't love it on my under eyes. It gets the job done. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Uh, but if you're looking for one that looks really great on your under eyes, it's not going to, like, power set your makeup. Uh, the just smaller ones for under eyes. It's, it's the best. Contour Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro and the Revolution Ultra Contour Kit absolutely love those. This year I believe I chose the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Palette and the Revolution Mega Bronzer in Cool. I love, honestly, Revolution's contours and bronzers are amazing. They are some of my favorite. I do really love their cheek products though, so if you aren't into their powder cheek products then you might not love them like I do, but if you haven't tried them, definitely recommend it. A lot of them are available at Ulta. Anyway, any of the Revolution contours are amazing. If you can still get, I'm not sure you can still get it, but if you can, I'll link down below the Ultra Contour Kit is amazing. Absolutely love it. It's like 10 bucks and I have gone through multiples of those, uh, but I have been really using the Mega Mega Bronzer. All right, and the blush I chose last year is actually the same blush that I chose this year <laughs> because it's that good, uh, but it's the same actual blush, which might be a little bit gross that I've been using it for that long, but it's literally a dollar blush and I wear it more than any other blush ever and it's definitely lasted that long. It is the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Ravish Blush. It's the Lumi blush. Honestly, any of the Lumi blushes are absolutely gorgeous. I just feel like Ravish is like perfect for my skin tone, but I have tried it on other people and I do really think that it works for many skin tones if you're looking for a really solid everyday glowy blush it's like a nice coral shade oh it's so beautiful it's for, it's so good but they have other shades if that's not your jam or you need a deeper one uh but if you are fair it is a great it's a great shade but it's not so fair that if you're like medium skin tone you can't get away with it and of course you can always layer it up if you are deeper than that it's just gorgeous it's gorgeous how i'll never know how it's a dollar it's so good um, and then last year I chose for highlights was the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Palettes in Astro and Nebula. Astro was still in my favorites. It is so good. Um, absolutely love it. Those palettes are insane. I didn't used to like powder highlighters, but those have completely changed my mind. Those in when ColourPop did the 
my gosh, strobe globe, strobe globe. Ugh, so good. So good. If you love an intense highlight, you're going to love those. So, so good. So good. But for a dollar, definitely recommend those palette lighters. Um, and then the other one I chose was the Highlighter Reloaded in Just My Type. Still absolutely love that. I honestly don't know where it's at at the moment, but it's beautiful. I still have it. It's such a nice like champagne peachy shade. You cannot go wrong with it this year. So again, I chose the Chamisee one again in Astro, but I also chose the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Palette again because I have been using the contour and the highlight. I have the highlight on out of there today while I mix two of the shades. I can use two out of the three. One of them is too deep for me. Um, but the two, especially when I have a self tan, are just so beautiful and it can be built up to be a lot. This is for me, this is a little bit more toned down on highlight for me, for me, you guys know me. Um, anyway, let's move on to mascara. So last year I chose the Mascara Revolution and the Revolution Blowout Mascara. I still love the Mascara Revolution. It is amazing. You really can't beat the Mascara Revolution. It, again, it made it into my favorites once more. It is so good. It does... It, just a warning if you do get it, because I always forget to tell people that it doesn't really have the best catching mechanism for pulling the wand out and you to take off the product, uh, but just work with it. Give it some time. You'll actually, I think you'll really like it. I like dramatic lashes though. I love thick lashes. I love using it for my lower lashes because it doesn't give me spots and I get nice results. I believe I'm wearing it today. Not that you can really see from this far away, but love. For liner, last year was Addition's Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black. I still love that one. I still stand by that one. It is so good. It's not the blackest black. Um, sometimes I will use a different one if I want to really cover up glitter. But if I'm just doing a normal, I have it on today, so it is black. But if you have a bunch of glitter on your lid, it's going to have a hard time covering it. Uh, the Revolution Renaissance Flick is amazing for covering glitter, but it doesn't have as quite of a fine of a point as the Physicians Formula one, but both are still really good. Definitely still recommend. Lashes. I did the AOA Studio Foaming Lashes in Jean and Jackie. I absolutely still love those. The only difference is this year, I believe I talked about those as well. I mentioned these lashes that I got from Amazon that I love, but still you cannot beat Chamisee lashes. They are so, so good and so affordable. I, I recommend so many of them. Besides Jean and Jackie, I do like Eva. Harper's really pretty. It's so dramatic. Uh, they're $1.55. You can't go wrong. For lips, last year it was Revolution Chauffeur, which I tried to include the new lip pencil that they made in Chauffeur, and I couldn't find it. I don't know where it went, um, and that's like my favorite thing ever, so I need to find it or get a new one. Chauffeur is just that perfect nude. If you were on the fairer side, it is so good. Sometimes I even lighten a little bit with concealer because I am, normally I'm super, super fair. I know I'm still pretty fair right now, uh, but for me, this is pretty tan. Love it. It works all the time. The other one was... City Beauty Matte Lip in Blush Rose. I'm still absolutely obsessed with that one. I'm getting down to the very bottom of it. Um, I know I probably should have thrown it away by now, but I don't know who really throws their products away. I need to get better at it, but it's such a good one. And that thing was $35, so I'm not going to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, and it's still so good. It's actually a plumping matte lipstick. And I feel like it really does. I don't know if it really makes my lips bigger, but I do feel like it plumps them. So there's less lines and it just looks more hydrated and full. I love that so, so much. Um, Elf Matte Lip and Tea Rose. That one's amazing. It doesn't last as long as some of the other ones that I mentioned, but it is such a great one. If you've got five bucks and you're looking for a really good, great nude, Tea Rose is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's kind of close to what I'm wearing. It's kind of a pinky, taupey nude. And then I Heart Revolution Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Gloss. Love it. I'm actually wearing the same gloss in Salted Caramel today. Those made it into my 2020 favorites as well. They smell amazing. They are so good. And I hope that they stay around because I love them. They're not sticky. They're perfect. They're perfect. All right, loves. I think I'm going to end that there. I don't think I'm going to go too far into. There are some fashion and music favorites in that 2019 favorites as well. I still need to film my fashion and stuff favorites for 2020, uh, but I haven't gotten around to it but I think that is everything. Again, make sure you go check out my friend Annette. This video was her idea. She is so amazing. If you're in any makeup, if you're into any makeup, she pumps out those videos like no other. She's such an inspiration. You will love her. She's so sweet. All right, guys, I think that's everything. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, I will leave the 2019 favorites original down below as well as my 2020 favorites for you guys to check out. I think that is it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, wait. You can come back if you want. Okay. Cheer, but I still really love the revolution. Uh, top.
that other favorites if you want. I'm gonna I'm gonna yak for way too long. We're we need to get going. <laughs> she wants me to stop talking, I think. She's like, Mom, just snuggle me. Stop talking. You talk too much. Oh, you stink. You just fart on me? Oh my goodness, you just ravish blush. What? I still love the mascara. <laughs> my hair is just like lumpy today. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But I mentioned the 